morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Happy Monday. It's a brand new week. Come on, come on, and get up out your bed. You ain't dead. You alive and well, because Jesus paid it all on the Christ, on the cross. On the... So that uh, attempt at a freestyle rap completely bombed. But nonetheless, it's Monday, guys. Get up out your bed. Bend the knee and thank God for another day. Oh, come on, y'all. It's the 3rd of October. The fall season is upon us. Bring out your pumpkin spice latte and put on some Ugg boots and put on some scarves. It's 90 degrees in the desert, so I don't need any of this. I just put on the jacket just to convey the fact that it's October. But anyways, we're going to act like a thing is so. And we just love this ministry. And thank you so much for your support of this ministry. Let me talk to us about what the Word of God has to say. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 14. I was thinking about this just the other day. Bible says, where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors, there is safety. And I want to focus on that part. In an abundance of counselors, uh, there is safety. The old King James said it, there's safety with a multitude of counsel. And the idea is that we're always pushing ahead to do things in our life, right? It's work and there's ministry and there's relationships and there's all the things that we're doing, right? God wants us to be cultivating things all the time. So you're watching right now and you're cultivating a business or you're cultivating a marriage or you're cultivating some parenting or you're cultivating some money moves. We're always cultivating, but God says, when you cultivate, don't cultivate in isolation. Cultivate in community. It's imperative for you to have differing perspectives and experiential viewpoints and all sorts of wisdom around you to make sure that you're fully informed to do what God is calling you to do. And so that's my question to you today. Who's on your team? Do you have an abundance of counselors around you? I was in a meeting the other morning and I have a, a board of elders that I serve under right here at a church. And um, there's a chair of that board and a vice chair. And from time to time, I'll just get with them and I'll just check off things and just kind of spitball some stuff and get their feedback. Why? Because the last thing I need to do is be leading this church all by myself. God doesn't want it that way. So why would I want it that way? And it's just healthy for me to just submit myself and listen to wisdom and different perspectives and viewpoints to inform how we lead God's church. And I'm not the only one who needs counseling like that. You do too. And the Bible is just reminding us that in abundance of counselors, there is safety. Some of us are in unsafe moments because we're in alone moments. And what does it mean for us to humble ourselves and bring people in to bring their wisdom to bear upon the decisions and the moves that we are making in our lives, right? An abundance of counselors, there is safety. My point is this, I think. Do you have the person, because some of you are saying, I got that circle, Ricky. I got plenty of people I'm talking to. Yeah, but do you have the person in your circle that disagrees with you a lot? You see, if you're not careful, you have a bunch of yes men who look how you look, think how you think, talk how you talk, act like you act, will make the decisions you act. And that's good because you need that encouragement. But man, I like to always have one or two. You know what? Eh, I don't think that's a good idea, guys, on my team. Why? Because everybody's perspective is valid and you need to be fully informed to see the whole board. I like the metaphor we used to, we've used a lot. Uh, you need a Paul ahead of you. You need a Timothy behind you. You need a Barnabas who's with you, but I'm gonna add a fourth. You need a Nathan to rebuke you. <laughs> it's the story of David and Nathan. When David was messing up, Nathan had license to come in and say, hey, what you're doing is not of the Lord. And I just like to have a Nathan who has license to come in and make me more safe. And I just want to encourage you as you go throughout this week, okay? What does it mean to listen to Nathan this week to inform everything that God's called you to do in your life? Guys, it's going to be a great week. I'm excited about the word of God this week and hope for today. And that's hope for today. And I'll see you next time.